So you catch up with me riding uphill on the Natino Pro from SQ. And this bike has definitely got more power being the Pro bike because I couldn't get up some of these roofs with this, with the other bike. And this has pulled me to the top up until when I had to give up because it was confidence more than the bike and fitness and having to keep going. And that was my problem, not the bike. The bike was more than capable of doing the job. It was me that gave up. This is definitely a step up. Right, I want to get to the top of this one here, if I can, and then we'll have a look. We've got nine gears to play with, which is great because on the nine gears, it does actually pull uphill, which you can see it's pulling uphill. So lean forward on the handlebars and use my fitness to help me push the bike up the hill. And my fitness isn't great, but the bike is definitely helping me and assisting me do the job. Whew. And now we're up on the top, up on the ridge line, and I can relax. So you have to remember that I'm not an actual mountain biker and a fitness rider, but I do enjoy the fun and thrill of using the bikes like this to do my photography. And this makes it so much easier to get to places. It really does. So at the moment I'm a power level four and the bike's actually dragging me up the hill. All I've got to do is pedal. I'm not using any energy whatsoever to do this. But you have to remember the steeper the hill, the bigger the gradient, the more you've got to put the effort in. And it seems to me that the harder you push down on these pedals, the more the bike wants to go. So if I drop down to level three now, now we're on a bit more of a level ground. Again, I'm doing nothing. The bike's doing it all itself. I find this Natino Pro as well, very more, much more comfortable than the other bike. Now, whether it's the way I've set it up or not, I don't know, but the handlebars seem a little bit closer. It's not as big a reach, even though I said it in one of my other videos, it was quite a big bike. It actually feels like a small bike when you're riding it. And I can actually tuck myself over the back of the seat when I'm going downhill. So it does actually feel definitely more comfortable and more confident inspiring for riding like this. Now I know the sun's behind me. I thought I'd turn the camera around so you can actually see me the best you probably can. And I've got a backpack on. I've got a camera, I've got a little mini tripod, I've got my lunch, I've got water. I've got, you know, I've got quite a bit with me. I'm not cycling lightweight, if you like. And I'm not the lightest of persons either. You know, I'm 90 odd kilo. So, you know, it, this bike's taking the, taking the strain of me and my bag. So I'm up to a, the top now and the views up here are fantastic. They are spectacular. So I think what I'm gonna do stop the bike get off of it and take a couple of photographs all for a scoot of course and the castle is looking fantastic so i want to talk to you a little bit about this bike um the scoot have been good enough to send me bikes uh you've seen in my videos i've had several different bikes i am not by any means a show or form an expert on these bikes at all please don't think i am because i'm not but i have a mountain bike i used to ride my normal mountain bike until you know i got these and to be honest these are fantastic um, they give you that extra you need to get to places the 520 milliamp battery is good for like 80 miles so i've done some tests on them i've got 60 miles out of it riding it off road i mean this isn't really off road this is just a grassy verge but it's putting a lot of power in when you're coming up and down these hills um so i can see i'm not a mountain biker i don't do it seriously um but there are some things about this bike i just want to mention we've got nine gears i probably said earlier on we've got nine mechanical gears on it 
the low gear is quite a low ratio i think it's like a 32 to 11 or something like that uh, i'll put it up on the screen for you anyway um, but the low gear is very very much lower um, than it was before or it feels like it is but the high gear is much higher uh, the ninth gear i think you probably find like the seven and the seven eight and nine are probably the higher gears um, to give you that more punch when you're going downhill so the bike's not running away with you so you've got some more pedal behind you um, the framing is very similar to what it was before it does feel a little bit stockier and nicer you've got a bifang uh, controller on the top the bifang controller's got all the information you want uh, everything's on there you've got a built-in light like it is standard i wish you had a built-in backlight but they do send you a little plastic light uh, with a, you know batteries in it uh, but it'd be nice to have something wired up um, i may have a look and see if i can do it myself your controllers are now on your thumb uh, you've got up and down you've got information for changing your display from your tripometer myelometer um, distance average speed and stuff like that uh, you've got your power on power off and you're up and down you can change your gears you've got a little bell great for warning people when you're coming along the gear shifter is quite a nice shifter as well you've got a big paddle from the outside and big paddle on the inside and you basically just use your thumb pushing forwards so it's forwards to up forwards to down so it, it makes it quite easy once you get used to it i've never had that system before um, it's a t an lt woo lt w o o uh, as um, if that means anything uh, but yeah getting used to it remembering which one's up and down but once you get used to it it's fine the grips are nice the grips feel really nice they're quite soft they take out a lot of the impact from the rocks and you've got these nice stubby uh, brake levers as well with some rubber on them so they're pretty good the brakes are only standard brakes uh, i'd love to see some hydraulic brakes but i do know escute have some hydraulic brakes being delivered in certain parts of the world and uh, you can upgrade them um, so i will be upgrading this for hydraulic brakes and something again i've never had hydraulic brakes before so i don't know what they're like and i don't know how good they are but they're obviously going to be a lot better i'm an ex-motorcyclist so i know what brakes are like they do stop you dead um, it could do with some decent brakes um, what else can i tell you 27 inch wheels great tires on it they seem to be pretty good when i'm powering up the hill there's definitely when you're in fifth you know you've got five speed uh, five power speed settings and that five power speed settings if you put it on level five and you're in low gear it spins up the back wheel when you're trying to get over the gravel so it's obviously trying to put the put the power in uh, the pedals are nice uh, these you've got some really nice flat uh, good flat wide sort of pedals are pretty good and your feet stay on them really really well everything seems great you've got a mid drive this is the thing this is the beauty of this bike you've got the bafang mid drive uh, the m410 which is a 850 newton meters i think it, or no 80 newton meters or 85 newton meters uh, which is a i don't know but this is a 250 output motor i can't remember now but i will put it on the screen um, but i know it's got an 80 newton meter output and that output definitely shines through once you're pedaling you've probably heard me before sort of huffing and puffing and pushing up the hill but yeah i really like it so i'm going to take you for a bit more of a ride get used to it a bit more carry on up over the grass go up a little bit higher it's nice looking at the castle over there in the background and uh yeah just just ride it it's, it's all it's for i can't keep talking about them. i'm just going to ride it let's get it going Oh, and it does weigh about 27 kilos, just in case you want to know how much it weighs. That's with the battery in. But on the, on the road, you don't notice it at all. Not at all.
I managed it. I have not picked the best route for getting down this hill that I'm on. It's, uh, well, I suppose for any normal mountain biker, it's an absolute breeze. But for me, it's going to be a challenge because it's rocky. I'm not even on the path. <laughs> I've got to just walk it down this bit because it's steep and there's no way I can get down this without falling off. So let me get back on the path and I'm gonna carry on the best I can and just see where I end up. It is very overgrown with ferns, but oh, we'll see. If I've got to carry it, I've got to carry it at the end of the day. Let's get going and see what happens. Oh, the ferns are everywhere, sheep poo everywhere and the path turning into a rocky path not an easy path to walk down uh, i've got to go across this stream oh what a, what a joke <laughs> but it's fun eh? it's fun this is what mountain bikes are made for it's just i'm not really a mountain biker and at the moment it's going to get so steep i'll probably be walking it but as soon as i can get back on the level i'm going to head back towards back towards the van
crazy sheep. <laughs> crazy, crazy sheep. <laughs> Well, that's it for me. I've had a good ride. I'm sure you've seen a bit of B-roll and a bit of um, drone footage and speed time lapse and me riding all over the place. So I've used about a quarter of the battery, a third of the battery maybe, definitely a good quarter. I've done 7.8 miles so far on this and it's been great really as yes. just gonna breathe in a bit while I come across this van Ooh. so yeah I'm nearly back to my van now so thanks for watching don't forget to give us a thumbs up like and subscribe share and everything tell everyone about these bikes because I think they're really great value for money I really do so uh, till next time I hope you enjoyed that I did it was good fun <laughs>